Hello, hello, hello. Crystal Tear. Buchanan here. <laughs> Cat of Rams. Oh, you know, I hate showing my face. Um, anyway, I'm trying to lean back. <laughs> I got pause. I'm back. It was too much light. It's like, <laughs> like a police light right on you. Uh, as I said, God bless you. God keep you. Um, I pray for perfect peace. Uh, wherever you're gonna find that, except in heaven. But I pray that your day goes well. I pray that uh, God is always on your mind and He is the vision for you. Um, uh, Crystal Terrier, you can't hear. Uh, uh. Hmm. Lord Jesus. Oh, uh, I'm here to apologize. <laughs> Not apologize, as Medea said. I'm here to apologize to women. Um, uh, Lord. Hmm. Uh, let me preference this by saying that uh, if anybody, uh, if anyone has been following my tweets and my Facebook, you. You pretty much can tell, you know, I've been getting the relationship coaches and stuff joining, you know, following me and stuff. But uh, so, you know, I went through a, a, a relationship issues. Um, and so when I'm going through something, uh, I'm a loner. So I, I'm pretty much a loner, but I have real, 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 real friends and family that I can turn to and talk to and so I had spoke to some people and, you know, uh, they gave me some uh, good advice, <laughs> like <laughs> get out of that. But uh, which I really, really wasn't. I don't know even what it was. But uh, anyway. Um, oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord's like talk and stop playing. But anyway, when you tell it on yourself and God's purging you, believe me, it's not easy because I'm saying stuff I don't want to say. But God's like do it. So anyway, like I said, uh, <laughs> trying to bull crap around. Anyway, woo, Lord Jesus. Mm. So anyway, keep it real. Uh, you know, I always tell y'all that I'm keeping 100 if I'm talking, I'm, you know, it's God. So like I said, so I was in relationships. I've been in a couple of relationships and I'm not, you know, I'm not really in relationships. I, 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 I I see, I, I, I date, <laughs> put it that way. And uh, I, when I call myself having a relationship, they, 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 they don't work out. And so anyway, I talked to some people about it and they gave me their advice. And most of them was like, you know, kick back, take your time. You know, my friend Deborah was like, wait, you know, take, take your time. You know, you don't need to be in a relationship right now. Just wait. And so with doing that, I went to the master and you know who I'm talking about. I went to uh, God and I, I I I I bled out to Him and was talking to Him about what's going on. You know, show me what what what's happening. You know, what 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 is this? You know, why am I being with this person when this person is not good for me? Why is it I'm not seeing this? You know, I'm older. You know, why is it? You know, and so basically, when you ask Him and you pour out your heart to God, He will reveal things to you. He did to me. And so he started purging me and he started showing me. And I don't know how he talks to you, but with me, he'll give he'll give it to me raw. When I ask him, God, give it to me raw. Show me. You know what I'm saying? Do, treat me like I'm a little child so I can get it because I'm hard-headed and I'm stubborn. He knows that about me. So give it to me. And so he broke it down to me and he showed me this movie. And I'm not going to get into the title of the movie or anything like that. But I'm just going to say that he showed me some things. And uh, he showed me everything. And... Uh, with that being said, <clears throat> I got I to gotta pause because I got to give me something to drink my throat. I'm back. I had to get some water. What I need to drink all the time, I don't really drink. I put it in Pepsi bottles to psych myself out. No, I'm not advertising for companies. Uh, so anyway... Uh, so 
anyway, like I said, um, uh, God's been purging me and, uh, he revealed to me things about relationships that I didn't see about the relationships I had been having. And he revealed it in a powerful way. Like I said, God is awesome. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. And uh, so he showed me some things. And I know he has to purge me and clean me up. You you know, I can't go to the next level until I, get, I, I, I I'm clean and I, I, I'm, I'm what he wants me to be. You know, he's not going to open the doors that need to be open until I open my heart up and I clean out the dirt in me. And I have to do that by accepting the truth. And the truth is, I apologize to women that have been abused. Because I never did say, yeah, you deserve it. But I was like, why would you stay in a relationship when someone is abusing you? You know, get out, hit back. You know what I'm saying? I did. And, you know, that was my belief. So I apologize for that. Because God revealed to me that I've been in re abusive relationships. I've never had a relationship that that wasn't abusive. I'm not talking about somebody physically hitting me, which I had been that way with my kid's father. One of my kid's father, he had put his hands on me before. But I never did really, I seen that, I stepped away from it, and then things changed. But I never did put everything together. I never wanted to accept the truth that all of the relationships I had had been abusive. And they were. Because I didn't want to say that it was me. I, I thought that because I fought back, because I gave as good as I got, I thought that, okay, since I, uh, I was fighting back, you know, now I'm not in an abusive situation. Talking crazy, I walk away. But I didn't realize a lot of times when I walked away, I would walk back and they really were in control because here it is, I'm coming back and I'm coming back because they changed. But they changed just to get me to come back. So they were manipulating me and they were controlling me. But, hey, dingy me. Yeah, and I call myself dingy. I didn't see this. God revealed all that to me. And I was like, okay, wait a minute, God. That relationship, I was with that guy. And he was nice, but I left him alone. God, and then God was like, mm-mm. That was control. They was on drugs. They was on crack. They were alcoholic. You never seen the true person. But look at the manipulation. And then he caught me. I was like, oh, well, that guy, remember that one guy? I didn't date him because he was nice and I didn't want to ruin his life. Because I'm looking at myself thinking I'm bad. And then God was like, shut up. And then God pointed out, remember he stole your van? <laughs> Lord Jesus. And I sat here and, I mean, he just started showing me all of the relationships that I've had with me and have been viewed. It was control. And Everything wasn't physical abuse because they knew I wouldn't tolerate that. But the control, where are you at? Where are you at, Janice? What time you coming back? Uh, following me, showing up wherever I'm at. Then when I'm telling a lie, oh, well, you said you was going to be such and such a place. You wasn't where you said you was going to be. Constantly calling me. I got to take them to work. I got to pick them up from work. They don't have a car. I, I have been so dim with it that I didn't even look and see. I was with a guy. We were living together. He was helping me pay the bills. He's buying things for the house. I couldn't buy things for the house. He was buying things for the house. Also, I ended up meddling because he started doing a little disappearing act. So I was meddling one time and I went through his paperwork. And I, he told me he didn't have a driver's license. I went through some paperwork and found a driver's license that he had. My brain peeped what was going on, but I was drinking at the time. He was having his driver's license, basically, because he wanted me to drive him places. And he wanted to use my car to drive places, which I'm letting him drive dirty without a license. Lord, help me. Jesus, help me. I want to laugh, but it's sad. When God opens up and he reveals, he just takes the shadows off your ass. I mean, he cocooned me. Lord Jesus. Was in relationships, living with a dude, didn't want me to have my family around. Let me tell you about abuse. 
mental, physical, verbal. I was living with this guy and the verbal abuse was uh, uh, you stupid. You think people are your friends. They're not your friend. I, all the t little, little things will happen. Uh, uh, I spend my money. I spend money on drinks more than the average person. So he'll come back and tell me, look at you. You broke. You, you spending money. Just little, little, little insinuations, you know, picking at me. Uh, uh, lowering my self-esteem. That's the word. Lowering my self-esteem. Being with a lot of men that would do that. And I would constantly fight at that. You know, be a, when they would tear me down, I would go to another man to pick me up. <laughs> what you won't do for me, boo-boo, I would get another one to do. You said I'm not attractive. You said uh, my teeth are ugly. You said uh, I, I, I dress slutty. I dress harsh. Well, I'm going to go to this dude over here. Let me see. Do we feel the same way? So I would... When they would turn me down, I would go to another man, which was really abusive, wanted to only be with me for sex. Tell all, keep it real. Let him build me up while this one turns me down, and I constantly would go like that. Whew, Lord Jesus. But I was with this one guy. I was living with him, and I and, and I, I, I hope you can keep up with me because some of this stuff is going to be real deep and it's real, it's, it's psychological. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I had psychology class and I've been with psychiatrists and I've been with psychologists and I've been with, uh, not sleeping with them, but I've, I've had conversations with them. I've, I've had medical treatment, but this is some deep stuff right here. But let me stay here so I don't get off point and I don't be confusing. I was with this one dude, the one I lived with for about two years. I was with him, and like I said, he would say little things like, you know, nobody's your friend, you don't have nobody. So basically, he was always on, he'd go to work, he'd come in, he'd sit in the house all day. You know, he's the one, where you going, what you doing, what time you being back, but well, you lying. You know, then he would pop up over my people's house, or wherever I was, he'd pop up. I, we look out the window, we see him riding the rain, you know. Him. One time, I got drunk, and I passed out, you know, over my people's house, I went to sleep. But in the meantime, now, before I passed out of my people's house, he came back and he, I was sitting in the uh, his van with him. So when I'm sitting in the van, I nodded out. So I didn't pay no attention. Basically, what ended up happening is when I did get home, I woke up, my rings was gone. So then, I'm drunk stupid. I don't know about you, but I used to get drunk and have them look black out. So, I, I, but I knew I had my rings on, so I'm looking for them. He's in my head trying to tell me that my people took my stuff. And I'm like, I know my people wouldn't take my stuff because they know I would suspect whoever around me, I would suspect did. My people are my friends. But I'm like, nah, I know they didn't do it. So I'm like, where was that? All along with my head. Blindsided. Blind to the truth. Seeing the truth and being blind to it. I can't even really. If you can't get that, I'm sorry. I know he did it. I knew he did it. But I'm living with him. He's paying the bills. He's buying the groceries. We got the refrigerators full. I got a freezer we put in together and bought. The freezer's full. I don't have to worry about paying nothing. Things is covered. He's paying for things. I got money in my pocket. I can go where I want to go when I want to go. But yet, he going to pop up there. And you know, what no tracking devices and cell phones wasn't that advanced. But he's popping up. He's following me. He's taking off. He's supposed to be at work, but he's popping up. I'm at work. He gonna come out on the job. Walk on the job up in the building. Oh Lord, everybody thought I was being abused. But they said that, but I didn't see it. Lord have mercy. Anyway, like I said, but all my relationships have been, like I said, it's not physical abuse, but they've been controlling. And that is abuse. When you're not in control of yourself, people are manipulating you. And in this last relationship, what God really opened my eyes, I had to see. Because contrary to belief, if you believe in God and you believe in Jesus and you believe what he says in that Bible, you believe that. If you believe that with everything in your heart, believe me, God will take care of you. He will save you from yourself. He has saved me from myself. And this last relationship... He will move people out of your life. I'm talking about move people out of your life and isolate you so and cocoon you so he can work on you when you ask him to, when you want a thorough job. That's what I love about David. He said, purge me, wash me with hyssop. 
clean me, make me pure. And uh, I was in this last little relationship thing, and I'm like, I'm 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 in the dark about it. You know, this is real, real, real talk. You know, I hope you're ready for it. But this, I'm in the in the dark about it. And uh, reality is, he wasn't really attractive, but I had to deal with it. I'm thinking that what he's telling me he's doing, you know, he's got his little, he's trying to invest in little property. He's, uh, woo, Lord Jesus. He's investing in little property. He got a little car. One time he had a nice, you know, little what, what everybody's supposed to look at, which I'm not in the car. I, I didn't think I was, I didn't think, I did not think, I did not think I was that superficial. Hello. But I thought that, okay, I'm here. So therefore, he's there. We're we, we, we going in the same direction. You know, I'm trying to do some things. He's He's got his little things going. He's got a permanent job. I'm looking hubby. But at the same time, there's some abuse going on. I'm not going to get into that. But if some abuse going on, mm -hmm, there's some manipulation and there's some control issues going on. But when I see it, when I see it and I call, call him out on it, it changes. So therefore, okay, I, 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 how we talk, I always tell you all, uh, and I be saying I'm talking to myself, but now I'm going to start shutting up. I'm not going to really move my lips because moving my lips and was talking, I, I, I've been telling myself lies. So I, I'm going to freeze that. I need to just talk to Jesus and let him talk to me. And a lot of time I was talking to him. That conversation goes good. But as far as talking to myself, that's over because self tells self lies. And I've been lying to myself because when, when I argue with him and I pointed out the way he was treating me, he changed it. And therefore I thought that okay, it's okay. He's not controlling me. He's not manipulating everything's okay. But hear me, hear me well. And this is where I understand about the abusive women. Women that are physically and mentally abused. Women that end up getting murdered. And it's not just men murdered. So don't get it twisted. I'm not biased like that. There's women that kill men all the time. Believe me. I, and I'll get into that real quick. But yeah, women can kill men. Mm -hmm. So I know this. I don't hurt. I haven't heard it. I know that for a fact. So anyway, when you're with a person and they're controlling you and they're doing manipulation, that is a form of abuse. When a person is changing, that's not okay. They're changing just so they can control you even more. They're figuring out a different avenue to come back to get to you. But all along, if you sit back and you look at it, you're on their time. They're not on your time. They're, you're on their time. They're doing what they can to be with you. And then believe me, nine out of ten times, they being with somebody else. And then if they're not, they're, they're putting their energy into you. And they, if they're putting their energy into you, then you're going to be, you're going to be abused. It, it will end up getting physical. And with this person, we, we've uh, tussled before. We've tussled before. I'm not talking about, you know, boom, boom, but yeah, we tussled before. And uh, you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you, you don't know what you don't want to face. Let me take that line. That's why I said, nah, no more verbally talking to myself and I, now. Nah, I'm going to talk to, only time I open my mouth, you see my lips moving, it's talking to Jesus. If I don't have no conversation for Jesus, then it's going to just stay, you know, it'll be up in my head. Because my lips are lying lips. And I don't, I, I'm not going to do that no more. I, I'm not going to ever be in an abusive relationship anymore. I'm not going to be with anybody that manipulates me. I'm not going to be with people superficial. I'm going to sit down and, and, and learn to talk to people, you know. Uh, all the little things that I did that was uh, uh, attributed to abuse, no. And I'm not going to get caught in, like that man said, telling people how you want to be treated so they can get you. No, when I see bull, I'm going to call that bull, and then I'm going to walk away. So, no. And if and, and, and start treating people nice, not being uh, 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 antisocial to people that are really... 
nice people. If I don't want to be bothered to tell a person I don't want to be bothered with, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Let me call it what it is. If a man wants to try to date me and it's, I don't feel that I'm interested in him, tell him that. Don't just play it off. I give out a fake number and all that type of thing, which I did. I stopped doing that, though. <laughs> I stopped doing that because dudes would stand right there and call the number. I like, nah, he did So I'm like, ooh, thank God I didn't give a fake one. So I did. I started learning that one. To be truthful with a person, I'm not interested. So I did learn to do that. But yes, I have been in an abusive relationship. And with all that being said, this is why I said I want to apologize to women. Because it's not that we're weak. And I say that as a whole for our women. But for me, I am weak where I thought I was strong. I allow myself to be manipulated, to be abused because this is not an excuse, but I only could have a relationship based on what I've seen. I'm no better than what I've seen. I can't give what I don't have. I can't give what I don't know. I can't tell you about, uh, uh, why uh, uh, the sun uh, doesn't shine on um, Neptune. I don't know what life is like on Pluto. I can't talk to you about that. I know that the, I know about the planets. I've been to the planetarium. I, I know about Saturn. I know about the planets. I know about the moon a little bit. I've never touched the moon, so I can't tell you what it feels like to touch the moon. So I can't tell you what I don't know. I can't speak on something that I don't know. I can't be in a relationship that's mm, mm, uh. I can't be in a relationship a healthy what society considers a healthy relationship. Uh, let me come down to it a little better than that. I don't know how to love A man in a relationship because I never seen one. I, I'm gonna stop right there because that's as deep as I can get right there. Why? Because. And then, therefore, I'm saying there isn't an excuse, but there is an excuse because there is a reason with every rhyme. When Elijah went into the cave. A lot of people talk about, yeah, he despaired a life. But I'm staying on the subject. I'm going to get back to it, but just hold up. When Elijah ran in the cave, after he took and killed the 10,000 little uh, false prophets and all the people that, you know, the little worshipers of Baal and all the little worshipers and stuff like that, and he killed them like he told them, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, you start fire. Watch me start fire. He wet the wood and, and he started fire on the wood. That was God. And he had all that power. And then how is it that he had all of that power, but then this woman said she was going to kill him and all of a sudden he despaired her life. Why? Because although you, I, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking for me. I had a lot of power in situations where, like I said, I thought that I turned it around. Follow me real quick. Follow me. When the rela relationships were abusive, I stopped it. Follow me. Elijah killed the prophets. Called on God. Called a fire down on the wet wood. Follow me. Abusive relationship with kids dead. Walked away from it. Left it. Went back a couple of times in many years. But every time it changed, finally got to the point, left it alone after a real violent thing. But Left it alone. I thought I had power. But then, her all these years later, eight years some later, in a relationship, wasn't really a relationship, but with this person, and turn around, here it is. I'm like, what? I'm running. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I apologize to the person because 
I said some things to the person. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even call me no more. Hello. Yeah. So I'm thinking that I was wrong. Because I did say something that way. But the reality was I was right. Because you wasn't doing nothing for me. The truth is, I didn't even really want to be with you. Why was I with you? Because of what I thought you was when in reality you wasn't what you said you were. The same thing with Elijah when he ran into the cave. Yeah, he had our power when he was relying on God to call down things. But when he caught, caught a glimpse of himself and realized that he had his flesh and blood. And she's talking about what she could do and he knew what she could do. He became human is what I'm trying to say. And that's what happened to me. Yeah, I had all power because I'm thinking, God, yeah, go on. God's taking care of me. I didn't have to worry about nothing. I have to rely on no man no more. God's been providing for me. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't have to go that 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 level anymore. You know, uh, uh, hoism. <laughs> you know, uh, fake housewife stuff. I hadn't been doing that no more. So I thought I had power, but really it's God with the power. I hope you can follow me. I was relying on God's power. So therefore I had the same thing with Elijah. But when we go into ourselves and we sit down and we see the human in us and we realize we are powerless, we don't have no, I don't have no power. I didn't have no power to control that emotion that I start feeling. I was feeling hurt. I was feeling depressed. But I was hurt and I was depressed and I was feeling sorry and feeling guilty because I stood up to that person. But it was me standing up to that person. I became, I showed my weakness to that person. But it wasn't a person that was, was worth showing. And God had moved him. And God has since moved him. But God wants me to leave him alone. God wanted me to face up and see the truth about it. And he wasn't the person for me. He was abusive. He, was, he wasn't the person for me. And, and he showed me why I'm with people. It was superficial why I was with him. And number one, he wasn't even the person that he said he was. I was looking at uh, I was looking at status rather than truth. Status and truth is two different things. And the truth shall set you free. Status is a facade. It's fake. It's make believe. The truth will set you free because the truth is what it is. It can't be. It can't be disguised. It's raw. And Mm. And why did I accept that? And why do I accept fakeism? Why do I accept abusive relationship? Because that's what I seen. And I thought I see my mother and my stepfather constantly fighting. I'm talking about blood being drowned. I'm talking about hitting. He hit her, she hit him back. Therefore, I thought I'm never gonna be in a relationship like that. But how can I not? I didn't get the, the busted lips and the black eyes and all those things. But at the same time, abuse is abuse. Manipulation is manipulation. Lack of control of my own life, of, 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 of what I think, feel, and believe. I'm not talking about believing in God. I'm talking about believing in a person, believing in what I think a relationship should be. Uh, marriage, my ideas of marriage, my ideas of relationships, my idea of love, what what I term love. I, I've never seen love. The only thing that I knew and I could contribute to a positive, uh, to a relationship, the only thing I knew, I didn't know anything. I don't know anything about, I, let me take it back. I didn't know anything about a positive relationship because I never seen a positive relationship. Now I understand. If you're in a relationship with a person and they're abusing you, putting their hands on you, if they're uh, 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 making you feel uncomfortable about you, putting you down, your hair is this way, I wear your hair this way, I don't like your hair this way, where are you at, what you doing, you know what I'm talking about, you know, I'm the minute, constantly calling you, where are you at, what you doing, constantly trying to control your time, control your mind, be careful. Take a look at that. That's not for me. But healthy, sitting down, talking to a person, finding out what a person is uh, is about. 
not just watching, not just listening to what that person says, but watching their actions. I've learned. I'm only going by actions. You can talk all day to me, but I'm watching your actions. And take time to, to, to be in a relationship. You know, go around their friends. Go, go, uh, if they're, if they into church, go to church with them. I let them come to church with you. Don't keep anybody a secret. Don't keep your relationships a secret. Bring your relationships into the light. Let other people see your relationship. And if you're with somebody that you don't want to bring, like I'm why, I was one of them. If you're in a relationship, you don't want to bring it to the light, meaning bring that person around other people, introduce that person to your family, to your friends. To your brothers and your sisters, then hmm, hmm, yeah, take a look at that. God said, I said enough. I pray that I bless somebody, and if I didn't, I bless myself. Um, God said, No, don't say you bless yourself. Well, I didn't bless myself. God has blessed me. Thank you, Jesus. That's how tight we get like this. Watch out now. Woo! But yeah, you know, um, uh, like I said, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. And I played uh, my girl Nita Baker. I apologize. You know, like I said, we we uh, I got lost in thinking that I was better than. Let me break it down and keep it real. Let me break it all the way down and keep it real. What I'm saying to you. Real talk. Street talk. Let me go street and gutter with you. I was thinking I was better than. I was better than you women that was getting punched in the face and getting drugged around the house, getting black eyes and big lips. When in reality, what you was getting physically, I was getting, I was dealing with mentally, you know. And so, yeah. So, uh, I'm sorry, you know. And, uh, you know, uh, like I said, uh, <sighs> thank you, Jesus, for purging me. Thank you, Jesus, for opening my eyes to the truth. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to be the woman that you would have me to be, to be woman enough, human enough, Christian enough, godly enough to say that I was wrong and that I'm sorry and I won't do it again. God bless you and keep you. And I pray that. Your days. Hello. I pray that your days and your nights be intertwined. What do I mean by that? I mean, I pray that whatever you do in the dark, I pray that you could bring it into the light. I pray that any relationship that you have with your kids, with your family, with your lover, with your husband, with your wife, your significant other, I pray that you bring God into the relationship and I pray that it's something that you want to put into the light. I pray that you don't want to put things in a deceitful place. Uh, I'll get on that another time. I don't like saying that dark has all bad things. So that's another thing. But dark is not always a bad place. You know, nighttime romance. But I pray for all the people that have been in uh, homes where there was abuse. I pray for those families. I pray that God comes in and sends a comforter to them. I pray for God to heal them like he's healed me. Uh I thank God for time. I thank God that in my mind, I always think I'm too old. You know, I, I don't, I can't change. I'm too old. My mother used to always say, uh, uh, you can't uh, teach an a old dog new tricks. Mama used to say that all the time. And I have to learn that all those things that mama used to say, they're not biblical. But they're beautiful sayings. It was nice and it, and it held her and it supported her. But as for me and for my, my life, no, that, that doesn't sustain her. For me, the Bible says that when I was a child, I thought as a child, but when I became an adult, I put away childish things. And I became a woman, therefore I have to live like that. And that my Bible says that God has our, our power and he has time in his hand. 
Methuselah lived to be, what was it? <clears throat> 900 or something years old? I believe it. Enoch was taken up. He didn't die. He didn't die a cruel death. He didn't die anything. God just took him up. He called Elijah up too. I believe it. I need to start. I, I'm living my life biblical. I'm not living my life through my parents' life, through that abuse, through that relationship. Because what I seen don't mean that's what I have to be anymore. I'm not that anymore. I'm not the abused, abused child. I'm not that child that seen that abuse. I'm a woman and I have a godly man now. I belong to God. And he belongs to me. And he said he'll never leave me. No matter what. And he shows that every day. He has never left me. And when I call on him from my heart with everything in me. And I ask him to change me. And to remake me. And I have a new beginning. God bless you and God keep you. Amen.